Hello everyone, welcome to Open AM or Forge Rock Access Manager's overview. So, in this particular session, we are going to have a basic understanding of access management uh, on the first place, and then we'll be describing what are the common access manager components, as well as we'll be describing how we can locate the access manager's resource uh, in the Forge Rock Backstage website. So let's talk about uh, basic access management first. So uh, as you know that access manager provides access management which consists of two parts. One is authentication and other one is authorization. So authentication is uh, basically about who the user is who is trying to access the resource. And uh, authorization is uh, what the uh, user actually can do. On, on the resource so basically it's all about resource protection uh, resource mean to say in an organization are the application web application java application different kind of application that a user can uh, use to perform their daily business tasks uh, the users uh, the user scope over here can be uh, they, they can be a customer they can be an employee they can be a contractor uh, they can be a subscriber so they, there are uh, multiple uh, definitions of uh, users in a particular organization and on basis of those definitions uh, how the users are going to uh, authenticate themselves or uh, or determine or, or access management access manager determines who the user is by different different mechanism that that part come under authentication and also how the access management manager decides uh, whether or not to provide the access to uh, to that particular user for that particular resource so uh, a AM actually manages access to the resource such as web page and application or a web service available over a network. So once it is set up, AM provides an infrastructure for managing users, roles and access to the resources. So let's uh, see a typical use case why it is required in the first place. So just for an example, just suppose the company, uh, uh, we are taking an example over here is XYZ Corp. So XYZ Corp has uh, around hundreds of applications uh, um, um, built for their enterprise which users can use and the users uh, have a wide uh, range like users can be customers, users can be employee and uh, uh, contractors. So uh, your XYZ Corp have multiple applications and uh, the thing is an application to perform, uh, uh, to have a security management in itself, uh, required uh, always required three things. One is your authentication. Another one is your authorization, and the last one is provisioning. So authentication means, uh, so suppose if we take an example of app one, so app one ha might have a way of uh, uh, knowing who the user is. So whenever a user is trying to access app one using a browser, app one must throw some sort of challenge to that particular user uh, <clears throat> that will define uh, who the user is like uh, an HTML form, which will have uh, two fields username and password and user will fill in that particular form username and password and then app one will uh, uh, will uh, verify that uh, combination of data uh, against uh, uh, a service which contains the information about that data so that service over here can be considered as directory service so, uh, and the directory service will be containing the authentication data so your app one has to first of all manage a backend directory service or a data or a backend or a database uh, which contains the authentication data and app one must also implement the uh, the challenge module which will define how the user are going to pass on the information about their credentials to app one so these two things uh, comes under the part of authentication so these things has to be implemented for app one next app one has to decide whether or not this particular user should be able to access its resources uh, 
so resources can be uh, in, in, in a bunch like uh, app one want all the resources to be used uh, by an authenticated user or we can uh, app one can choose to decide what part of the resource can be accessed by the user so th there is a differentiation in the user like there will be a normal user uh, who needs uh, access to the basic uh, home pages or, or some of the basic functionality to perform the day-to-day -day task but uh, there is uh, another type of user which is admin which which will require uh, elevated uh, access in that particular application to perform uh, their daily business so in that case app one has to define a way to determine whether or not this particular user should be able to access this uh, a specific resource within app one so if we de start defining this is the challenge challenge and this is the back end and, and then this is the authorization service or yes so this is the authorization service so these things has to be implemented uh, within an organization uh, within an application simply uh, another module will have to be implemented which will determine how the uh, how the resources are uh, populated in the backend so that particular module is known as provisioning so the the app one can decide how the users are created at their backend before the user is trying to access the resource the resource must have an information about the users beforehand right so uh, there are multiple ways of implementing that kind of uh, uh, that kind of uh, functionality like uh, app one can enable the user registration so that user can directly register themselves uh, give their uh, username passwords uh, give give their username select their password choose their passwords after that they can <coughs> choose certain security settings uh, uh, at the start and uh, they can give the contact information like uh, email address and all how application will be able to notify the users for any kind of changes so all these kind of uh, all these kind of uh, initial attributes should be provided to the user so this kind of uh, <coughs> this kind of module which will directly uh, impart the knowledge to the app one regarding the user at the very first place is also required that is called as provisioning so uh, this is a way to create uh, uh, the users from app one to the business uh, to, to the back end so this particular implementation of the modules makes application one very heavy okay why because they have uh, apart from the functionality these they are providing they have to implement these kind of uh, uh, these kind of security functionalities as well now the thing is your uh, since uh, since your uh, your corporation have uh, multiple applications suppose there are 100 application all of these should be implemented in each and every application underlying so you should have a challenge mechanism you should have a back end you should have a pro method of provisioning those users you should have a uh, authorization service as well so all these things uh, uh, will uh, means if, if it, that these things uh, these four modules are implemented for each and every application the cost of maintenance and implementation becomes very heavy for an, an organization also the thing is uh, uh, the user uh, the user experience will also not be very good because uh, users must uh, register their account in uh, each of those application suppose there are 100 application they have to register their account 100 times uh, then they have to remember the username and password uh, every time uh, for for every every kind of application so suppose there are 100 application there will have 100 application a user will have 100 application if he is uh, he is allowed to access all these 100 application so that is a kind of uh, cumbersome process for a particular organization it it uh, imparts higher cost and uh, higher uh, cost of implementation implementing a security uh, module 
also it is uh, it's not a good experience in terms of a developer so so application developers have to implement all these things on their own form uh, for a particular application so that that again increases the cost of implementation as well as maintenance for uh, a corporation uh, for an enterprise so uh, to reduce this kind of uh, requirement we can actually centralize all of these three mechanisms into one so how we can do that is first of all if we uh, uh, so so these uh, four modules we need to be implemented so suppose there is a way which you can centralize uh, the authentication backend so your backend can be centralized where all of your application will be connected um, at the back end okay and uh, they will have same authentication data that means the first uh, challenge that is the user experience is is uh, is like uh, the, the, the user experience uh, is resolved because they the user has to remember only one set of credential and uh, so and all of the application are using the same set of credential at the back end uh, hence uh, the user need not to remember hundreds of uh, credential instead they just need to remember only one credential and they are able to log into all of these different application so that is what back end is all about so here in Forgerock uh, the back end can be can be implemented using open dj the, so in the previous session we have seen uh, uh, in open dj how we can utilize open dj as a back end uh, uh, going on toe to toe with uh, with the, the widely used uh, the lab service which is uh, active directory and oid so 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 you can utilize open dj for a specific back end for all of the application it has the, that kind of load capability uh, which can hold the data of uh, uh, of uh, multiple million users uh, and and can provide the data with higher latency to uh, to the applications that are uh, emitted in your organization so your back end part is uh, resolved then the second thing comes is how we are uh, um, we are asking for the user uh, for 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 the for their credentials so so that that part also can be centralized because even if uh, all of the application are connected with the same backend the user still have to log in multiple times if they want to access an, uh, access an application they have to uh, log in to that particular application using the same set of credential but they have to log in uh, again and again for each and every application if the application is defining uh, the other modules by themselves each of these modules can be def uh, uh, defined for a specific application independently as well as you know now for that uh, we can use a centralized uh, authentication module as well which can provide this kind of challenge and can manage the user session uh, at a centralized place so in that case uh, uh, your open am comes into picture open am actually can provide uh, a way of uh, um, challenging the user to uh, to define their credentials so there are multiple modules that are implemented for uh, access manager uh, over em which can decide how how user is going to identify themselves so there, there are form based uh, authentication mechanism there are risk based authentication mechanism there are uh, your otp based authentication mechanism uh, radius based authentication mechanism so there are multiple authentication mechanism that uh, can be provided by access manager uh, to the user and and user can verify their identity in all these multiple methods so uh, this is one part uh, where the authentication is uh, implemented under open am now the next thing is open am can also be utilized to perform authorization authorization so it can determine uh, it can de uh, determine whether or not the user who is already authenticated will be able to access this particular application on the basis of the uh, different different kind of attributes that is available for that particular user once the authorization part is done uh, so you will have a fully uh, centralized mechanism of uh, 
uh, of uh, uh, getting the user's authentication data and also getting the user's authorization data so these two things can be implemented at a centralized place when if we, we have implemented open em as our centralized access manager now the only thing is once we have implemented these modules the only thing is to connect all the application with your access manager as well as your open dj at the back end so there are different different ways of implementing that kind of uh, scenario uh, the thing is uh, the back end uh, is not always required to be connected with your uh, application since the authentication is managed by the uh, my by OpenEM, so you can directly connect OpenEM with the backend, and it can provide the authentication data to App2. So App2 does not have to uh, application does not have to worry about authentication, authentication backend, authorization, and all these things. So you can connect hundreds and hundreds of application with your OpenEM to uh, define a single uh, point of authentication as well as authorization. Now, OpenEM can also implement provisioning. Uh, a slight uh, feature of provisioning uh, means a small feature of provisioning which can enable the users to register their account into your OpenEM. Once the user account is uh, created an OpenEM by uh, user registration, that account will be uh, passed on to the backend. So your account will be available in OpenDJ as well. So this way uh, a new user can gain access to an application on the uh, on the basis of uh, on the basis of their uh, credentials now the thing is uh, this uh, this particular uh, module is not as fully fetched and cannot be considered inside identity management because identity management is way more than that uh, uh, it, it it takes care of how your uh, identities are created and how your identities are dif disabled in an organization and all these things so for that uh, uh, forgelock have another product which is open idm which is uh, actually t uh, which actually take cares of uh, that particular functionality but a slight functionality which can be given to the user so that they can actually create their account for uh, having a ready access for their particular application for him uh, to have at least a basic level of access for that particular applications so uh, that kind of uh, independence is given in open am as well so that they can provision the account um, administrator can also uh, create the accounts of the users that uh, are, that should be uh, that should be accessing that particular application okay this uh, so your provisioning part is also uh, can be slightly implemented in your open em so you can see all of these uh, modules are now centralized now the only thing is to connect all the application with your open em so for this kind of connection